Welcome back all. Alrighty, it's time for some fireworks. So I kind of set everything up a little bit sooner, that way you didn't have to watch me build all of it. But as you can see, one's kind of wobbling around there. You gotta be real careful putting these together. I've blown myself up, you know, once or twice. Okay, 20 times. But hey, it's still fun. So I like to build the dazzle fruit, put it on the bomb barrel, and then I like to put that on top of the rocket and the zonite bomb. That way you can kind of use the shadow underneath the bomb barrel to make sure you're centered there. All right, so I'm gonna light all these bad boys off since it's nighttime in my game. And to do that, I'm actually gonna use Toolin. Just uh, on that note, be careful not to use Toolin aiming directly at the things, otherwise they'll blow over and once again, blow yourself up. All right, Toolin, let's do this. So I'm gonna aim just slightly right of Toolin with that gust there. And the reason I wanna go sideways is so I've got a good amount of hang time in the air here. I'm just gonna kinda shoot all the rockets in random order. Oh, watch them all take off. And blow up like fireworks. Very cool. All right, I don't think one took off though. Eh, whatevs. All right, I'm gonna do another one. I'm gonna reload that save point so that I get the bomb barrels back. And this is gonna be one big rocket with lots of explosives on it. You know, I wasn't really planning on buying a switch, but now that I have it, wow, loading time is so much better. I don't even think you can get this game on the Wii U anymore anyway. I think that was only Breath of the Wild. I could be wrong about that. But anyway, all right, so I got the bomb barrels back. So I'm going to get out five fans, four rockets. Oh, and don't forget the cherry on top, the Zonite bomb. Because this thing's going to be a little bit different than what I just showed you. All right, so I'm doing the five fans. You don't really need these for a lift per se. It's just kind of like putting the thing together so it looks like a rocket. All right, so just like before, we're gonna do these four points on the fan here, north, east, south, and west. Look for that snap point. And this is to line all the rockets up so the thing will actually stand up for us. Okay, very good. Right, we're standing that bad boy up. Now these don't have to be perfect, but you can put your bomb barrels on top of your rockets there, or wherever they're going to attach. Just like so. And don't worry, for extra dazzle effect, we'll get that dazzle fruit on there. Alright, that's going to go on top here. Oh, that's a lot of ordnance. This is going to be fun. And I know you can really go crazy with these dazzle fruit. But don't forget, you have a build limit, so uh, you can't go too crazy with them. Unfortunately. What is happening? Alright, it doesn't, doesn't matter where that goes, you can stick it anywhere. I'm actually going to do four more. I'm going to put one each on each bomb barrel here. Just for a little extra effect. So I'm showing you guys this just because it's fun. Like, you don't have to do this for anything in the game. I had all these materials, I didn't know what else to do with them, so idle hands as they say. Aw oh, man, did I already hit build limit? Okay, so be it. Eh, it's not quite night time yet, but you know what? That's okay. Look at that thing, it looks like Titan AE take it off. Ooh, ah. Alright, if you let me get away with it, I'm gonna do one more rocket design.
Make sure I get my bomb barrels back here. Only this is going to be a little bit different. It's not going to be fireworks per se. This is going to be a land-based cruise missile. So since I don't know what else to call it, I'm just going to call it that. What will we need? One sled, one cherry on top, I think two or three fans, I think three. It's been a while since I built this. Three rockets. And let the fun begin. All right, so first thing first, stick your fans together as per the norm. You're gonna wanna attach that kind of on the back end there. Not too far back, cause you want the weight distributed evenly, and that'll happen if we get these barrels on here. So you can put all six on here. I'm only going to do four, because really that's plenty. I'll do one more here and just spread them out somewhat. They don't have to be perfect. All right, cherry on top. Actually, it'll go right in the front here. All right, that'll be your detonation point. So what am I, what is it? Bleh. What is it going to detonate on? Uh, we're going to find some bad guys. Alright. You can see this thing is packed and ready to rock and roll. So let's go find some bad guys, shall we? Actually, I think there's some right across the way there. I'm not sure there's a way to walk faster when you were carrying something. Oh yeah, there they are. Still alive. And there might be some over that way too. Sometimes there's a couple of bobkins riding around on a wagon. They get in the way. But not today. Alright, so... Our first unsuspecting customers dead ahead. And let's do it. Whoosh! That was awesome. I could have aimed it a little better, but you guys get the point. All right, so that's my fireworks video. Just wanted to do a quick one for y'all. Quick, fun one, anyway. No real point to it, just, you know, some build ideas. Since we got all these parts and nothing else to really do with them. All right, folks, that's it for now. Um, in the meantime, happy hunting.